Hey everybody, Blue Jacket 66 here for a rapid fire video. I've got a lot, a lot of stuff to cover. I've got some giveaways, wanna show some stuff I picked up at Nanny's house. Just got back from Kansas City, visiting my mom. Uh, I'm gonna be going really fast here. Uh, every time I go to my mom's house, when are you gonna get those beer cans out of the attic? Or when are you gonna clear some of the stuff out of the basement? So I never do. I have me and my dad's collection and my collection and some of my dad's collection has been down there for 40 years plus and I don't want to take anything out of it and I don't even really like rummaging through it that much but I had like three days there my son's still in Europe so it was just me so I did have some time to I just wanted to take some of the bulk out because she doesn't like the bulk and the boxes so uh, I did that we'll show some of that and we'll have some little giveaways um, I was looking at the, here's a baseball hobby news I found a periodical uh, from July of 1980. And there's really interesting art. What's interesting about this is people's view on the hobby at that time. And I love looking through the want ads and the uh, advertisements for sale, etc. See what was going on, see what's popular and what the prices were. Here's a, here's a good news. Dealers report prices are dropping. S said 79 was just this huge run up in prices and things were coming down a little bit. Uh, so this, this dealer says they're lowering prices on everything except for mantles, maize and errands. Here's another dealer that says collector's money is around, however, it's being spent on more challenging items, such as regionals, Briggs Meat, Dandy, Stallmeyers, etc. Uh, here's an article Tops loses $9 million. An interesting article here The Missing 106 1933 Gowdy Discovered, which is the uh, Leo DeRocher that has a, is numbered 106. I don't know how many copies are known, maybe one. This I really found interesting. What is the most overpriced and underpriced uh, card? And it's a little survey. And uh, you have to rank them. Uh, here's the ones they list for the most overpriced and you gotta rank them in order. 52 Mantle, 53 Maze, 67 Robinson, 67 Seaver, 54 Aaron, 53 Mantle, 70 Bench, uh, and uh, all Pete Rose cards and 1961 high numbers. You gotta rank those in order, what you think is the most overpriced. Then you gotta rank the most underpriced, and your options are 53 uh, Bowman Snyder, the, the Bowman, 53 Bowman Barra, 54 Bowman Ted Williams, 57 rank, Frank Robinson, etc. And you send them in, and I'm sure the next month they had the uh, survey. So, I just highlight a couple things. And here was an advertisement for the show I went to. This is would have been a show down at the uh, Glenwood Theater in Kansas City, or the old Glenwood uh, uh, Hotel. It was called, the, uh, they called it Fifth Annual Kansas City Convention. Special guest Mickey Mantle, put on by John Menlin and uh, Jim, Jim Compton, who I knew both those guys. I was young, I was, let's see, well, I'd been 18 here, but I've been going to their shows there for five years or so with my dad. My dad was good friends with them. Uh, cool articles, you know, Tops loses $9 million last year. Here's some for sale, some 52 Tops. Here's an excellent to mint mantle, 50, uh, number 311, 1952 for $3,250. Here's a 52 mantle, an excellent for $2,800. Uh, here is a, remember I showed my PSA, or yeah, my nine graded uh, uh, 75, uh, tops Brett a couple videos ago and uh, you may have been astonished at what I I bought it from my dad in like 79 what I paid for it um, you know it's a $500 set here here's a set for $140 in 1980 so that you know that set at that time was only five years old that tells you it was it was a very popular set um, so uh, that's gonna be a, a a question here for a giveaway in just a second. Seems like we'll quickly look through some other things, I think. This is really interesting. Here's some baseball card for sale. Maybe I'm reading this wrong. It says 1951 Bowman set, number one through 324, 97% mint. Mantle and Maze rookie cards are mint. Now, cards number one, two, and three are very good. 519 and a couple others are very good with creases. 20 bucks. Frick, that can't be right. That cannot be right. Anyway, 
uh, here's my Hires Root Beer. Look back at my old videos for my 1958 Hires Root Beer. Uh, I have one uh, of Willie Mays Test Issue, and then I have Hires Root Beer, one of Aaron and Mays. This is in 1980. The 1958 Hires number 44 Hank Aaron, excellent plus mint, and it had the tab, 75 bucks. So, uh, um, 57 Tops Mantle, excellent to mint, 40 bucks. 57 Tops uh, Ted Williams, excellent to mint, 25 bucks. So, yeah, I like, love looking through that stuff. Okay, hold on. Also, um, when I was in Kansas City, I went to a, a card store, and it was, it's a fantastic card store. I've been there before. I bought a 2019 Bowman. Box, wax box and a uh, 2018 Bowman's draft box and I'm not I won't open those I just put them away I, I have a lot of wax that I just put away and darn it I wish I, I had the card for that store because I want to plug it but I will be plugging it on a highly controversial video I'm going to be doing in the middle of July I don't know if I'm going to do another video before that I might but that's going to be my mic drop maybe I can get enough kicked off YouTube video um Okay, so what else? So I'm in the basement messing around and I find some of my old stuff. And I wanted to bring a couple of my old, you know, eight year old collecting stuff. Not my good collection, just some of the stuff that started me off when I was eight. And one of them was its 1965 Tops Embossed set, 72 cards, all the superstars. They, the likeness is not there. And uh, most people, a lot of people don't like those. Um, but it's cool. We'll take some close-up looks at that in a second. So here's the first giveaway. Um, and my giveaway is not for anybody that I've ever sent anything to, whether a care package or whatever, or anybody that's any, won any of my prior contests. This is for people that have never gotten anything from Blue Jacket 66. I happen to have another complete set of 1965 tops embossed inserts. And I will send them out to the first one who can correctly tell me how much I paid my dad back in 1979 for my 1975 tops mini set. I'll, I will send you out, out this. You're gonna have to, uh, when I, if I email, if I uh, message you that you are correct, you're gonna have to put down your uh, email. I'm not real quick at sending stuff out. Oh, something else. Um, we're just all over the place on this, I understand. I had mentioned that I'm doing the uh, 2019, uh, um, the Topps uh, Heritage uh, Silver Wrapper Refractors and a George Brett. Mike O texted me this uh, weekend. I was at the ball game with my mom in Kansas City and uh, he's gonna send me out the base. In the meantime, these refractors are readily available. So I happen to win a lot of three of them and then I got another one. and. So I got the black refractor. I'm doing the refractor run. I got the blue refractor. I don't know if you can see much refraction, but I don't have a lot of light on here. Here's the green refractor and the gold refractor. So I know that there's an orange and I know that there's a red and I don't know if there's any other refractors to be honest with you. So I just have it in my eBay search and uh, I'm not paying up for any super uh, refractors. Okay, what else am I doing here? Okay. Um, okay, this is cool. So I also, while rummaging, found my 1969 Topps Super Set. You know, these large cardboard cards that came I stand. I talked about these once before, and I thought came one to a pack, but they, I believe they came two, two to a pack. And I also said I thought they were nickel. Someone corrected me; they thought they were a dime, and I don't know. But I remember. Let me tell you, 1969. These are the cards that I was really collecting, and this is my childhood set. It's got all this. We'll look. We'll look at these uh, in a quick view in a second. But you know, maze. You know, mantle everybody. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Okay. 
And that was in 1970. Here is a 1971 Topps Giant set. I collected this as a kid. Um, and we'll look at these too. But these again were kind of in boxes or in cardboard and kind of scattered around. I stumbled upon like half a set. Then over here, I just, for God's sake, somehow luckily found out more. And I just started finding old binders and pulling out like old postcards and stuff and put these in binders because they were not in binders. And one more little thing is, oh yeah, 1970 was when I really started collecting cards a lot and I collected Topps football. And these top super football, this is the complete set, uh, were awesome. Who did I want? I wanted uh, Len Dawson. Uh, you may, this missing, this is Fran Tark, but then I have it, it's over there. So I, I took it out just to look at it a little closer. Uh, Jurgensen seemed to go a lot of Jurgensen's. I remember, God, why? I kept getting a lot of Greg Cooks and Larry Wilson's, which I didn't really want. Here's Unitas, Bobby Bell kind of lived very close to me down the street. Also, we'd get a lot of John Brody's, quarterback for San Francisco. Anyway, we'll look at those in a second. Um, so let's do another getaway, giveaway. Here is some uh, um, 1971 Top Supers. Willie Stargell, Jim Perry, Al Kaline, Brooks Robinson, Hank Aaron, Carl Yastrzemski, Willie Mays. I will send that, these out to the first person that says, I'll take them. All right, let's see what else. Okay. Um, I got some boxes over here I'm gonna be showing. Um, so I got a couple other things to give away. Now here's something cool. Um, these are 1970 Topps posters. They came as inserts in the 1970 set. I have, I did not open them. I, I, I found these in a stack this big and I just put them in these containers and I didn't even look at them. So I'm not sure if there's a complete set here. I think they're all in good condition. It looks like a few of them have a little writing on the back. This is Tommy Agee. So, it might be a complete set of, of them, 1970 Tops posters, inserts. Let me see what this one is. These are, they're in very, 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 very fragile paper. And these have not been handled. They're, they're like mint and they came folded. Here's the bench. Okay. I will send this out to, for free. Whoever can answer to these top posters. I, I don't know if it's a complete set or just a whole bunch of them. To whoever can tell me what is the grade of my 1952 tops mantle. Okay. Um... I found some loose rack packs, a whole bunch of loose rack packs. And I, I brought a handful home. This, this is kind of neat, because this is the 81 Tops and it's got the Reigns rookie showing on the front in a freaking gem, man, whatever. Strawberry on the back of that one. Andre Dawson. All right. So, I don't know, let's just do another giveaway. Hey, hey, food and beverage, 1981 squirt. These were hung on uh, bottles of six packs of squirt. And there are 33, there's 22 cards and, and 33 players. So some of the players are duplicated. This first card has Gary Templeton and Brett. Card under it has Brett and Mumphrey. Card under it has George Foster and Rick Burleson, you know, Fred Lynn and Ben Ogilvy. Anyway, there's a complete set of these. Um, I will send them out to the first person who hasn't ever received anything from me who says, hey, I'll take the uh, squirts. And I don't know when I'm gonna get them out. Um, 
Mike, baseball collector, hounded me to um, bring some like junk wax home that we could maybe break open at the uh, National. So I grabbed a couple boxes. Um, I'll show you what I will be bringing for that. 1991 Leaf. Uh, 87 tops, right? Actually, two boxes of that. Two boxes of the, of the tops. Here's a uh, oh, 92 leaf box. Ninety-three Donruss, a lot of gems in there, a lot of gems, and another box of the uh, eighty-seven tops. So I'll bring those. I also was rummaging around and found a whole bunch of these bags of these fun packs. Do you guys know about these fun packs? Tops put them out in the late seventies to early eighties, and what they are is they're filled with packs that were unsold. And they'll just throw them in a bag and call them a fun pack, and it costs you three bucks. These packs are interesting in that you there I can see some Star Wars packs that's a good sign that means these cards are likely from 77 78 or so um, but a lot of these packs are wrapped in this very generic wrapper that says picture cards and bubblegum assorted subjects so you don't know if you're getting you know Jaws or Elvis or Tops product, baseball, football. So on, you know, on eBay, these I think these go for a couple hundred bucks for one of these, and I think it's a good sign. It's, it's hard for me to manipulate these to see what the packs are, but it looks to me like these are there's early Star Wars so that means it's very likely that these cards are late 70s cards which would be late 70s football or um, baseball in there I don't know but to be honest with you some of the Star Wars cards are pretty pricey too so I'm kind of excited about seeing what's in these because it's a complete who knows I mean you don't know if you're getting hockey or baseball or football or uh, you know welcome back Cotter cards I don't know. God, hey, let's do another giveaway to whoever wants these. First, it says they want them. And again, give me time. And this has to be someone who's never uh, won anything. Here's some 1978 cards. They're in uh, sheets of six uncut. This one has uh, Dave Parker. These are all uncut. This is uh, Andre Dawson. This one's kind of interesting. It has uh, two rose cards on it and two Phil Gardner's. It's a little uncut sheets of eight. This one has Yount and Garvey. So first one that says they want those. Uh, you know what? Yeah, whoever wants those first, okay. And I got one more little giveaway. Then I'm gonna kind of show some of this wax I brought back. Um, Topps Coins, 1981. Here's a full set of these 1981 Topps Coins. Little discs that came in the packs. And I think, and I think you could buy them individually as well. And you could probably just get them from the manufacturer. But there's a complete set of those. I'll send those out that he can, whoever can tell me who is the artist that did this. Now my daughter's just sent me this today. She got it in Prague because we we're in a museum that was showing one of this artist had a bunch of his stuff and he did sculptures. And this, this type of elephant he sculpted, but it's also in several of his 
painting slash lithographs. You would definitely recognize the artist, but if you can tell me what artist show we went to. I'll send you out the tops coins. No, I'll send you out the tops coins, and you know what else I'm going to send with you if you can tell me who the artist is that did this? Babe Ruth. Uh, the Frojo ice cream. Are you guys familiar with that set? Frojo ice cream, I can't remember the year, but they came out with a set. They're counterfeited a lot. Uh, this is a, a, TCM, a TCMA reprint set. And it's an... It's a really nice reprint set. And it clearly says TCMA reprint on the back, but if you send it into PSA, there's a good chance they'll miss it and you'll uh, make a mint on these as being original. So I will send out the Topps coins as well as this reprint set of this uh, Frojoy ice cream, Babe Ruth cards, how many there are? Looks like there's six. Who can tell me who the artist is uh, for that? Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera around and gotta look at some things. Okay, let's look at this 65 embossed set. It's gonna be heavy glare because they're shiny cards as they are. But they kind of grow on you. There's the mantle. Just really doesn't have a likeness of mantle. Maybe a little bit, I don't know. Brooks Robinson. There's Mays. Boog Pal, big favorite of mine growing up as a kid, big favorite in the uh, late 60s, early 70s. Anyway, that's a neat set. That's the uh, embossed. Here's my cool set of, I won't run you through, we're kind of baseball guys, aren't you? But this is, this is my childhood uh, 70 tops. Giants or supers or whatever you want to call them Really affordable Set the 71 baseball It's kind of a scarce card evidently So you know, you think, hey, putting a set from 1970 and 71 is tough. These are, you know, it's kind of like Topps Giants. They're, you know, they're a little better on the condition because they're thick cardboard and they got rounded corners so you can find them in better condition. And uh, quite affordable. You know, you see them graded and stuff. I, I don't see any reason to grade something like that I just like they look so much better sitting on the couch running through your binders and looking at these cards so a little different different back on the 70 a lot more stats on each player okay okay enough of that I, this video is getting really long Some nice Reggie. Lou Pinella, Leadfoot Lou. Okay, so we'll look at some of these. Okay, some of these, some of the stuff I drag up from the basement just to get my mother off my back. So I, did, I did brought a, a, a case of uh, 86 flare boxes. Um, 83 boxes of 82 flare. This is, I think that's 81 flare, right? And uh, 80, a couple, bo couple boxes of 82 Donruss. These are three boxes of cello packs. This is 81 tops. I, I think there's an 85. I don't know what the, all there are, but early 80s tops. Here's uh, Three boxes of 81 Donruss. Here's multiple boxes of the King, Elvis. Uh, those are kind of gold. Uh, so those are cool. Uh, again, here's, here's just some racks that were laying around in these fun packs. So 
heck, I think I covered everything. So, gonna bring some of this stuff to the National to kind of crack open, look for, you know, see, because it's fun. Uh, here's what I bought at the card store. Um, and a few of these uh, giveaway items. Uh, remember, if uh, you've won anything or received anything from me, uh, let's give these other guys a chance and uh, we'll go from there. So, happy collecting. Uh, and we will talk to you later. Thank you.